Hello, beautiful souls. Okay, well, I'm going to preface this entire video um, by saying that I'm feeling really feisty. <laughs> and um, that this particular topic has been coming in for me to discuss for a long time. And the, the wildest thing about it is that I am not an astrology um, expert. <laughs> what I am is an expert at um, feeling and knowing and uncovering illusion. <laughs> anyway... Oh, I feel like uh, I might piss some people off. But anyway, food for thought. I'm going to put this out there. So, I mean, as many of you know, I write a daily-ish message that I share uh, on Facebook and also on my uh, WordPress uh, blog. But, you know, normally when we come to full moons and new moons, Right. I usually share what sign it's in, you know, what are the typical, you know, things that, you know, go with each full moon and new moon. And I have not been led to do that for some time now. It started with, I don't know how many years ago, you know, I have my, my actual star map. And so I was mapping, you know, where the sun is in the sky, where the moon is in the sky and which constellation it's in, because everybody was talking about, well, we'll just use this one, for example. Everybody keeps saying that this full moon that's about to happen, this is a super moon, uh, the harvest moon that is supposed to be on September 29th, 2023. Everybody keeps saying that it's in Aries. But it's not. If you have a star mapper, go look. And I know I have some, I have, a, you know, a few friends that do astrology. And one of them, I asked them, I'm like, what the heck is going on with this? I don't understand. I don't want to promote more illusion. And she's like, well, you know, this is the agreed upon for tropical. This is the agreed upon schedule of how things move. And I was like. So we just keep saying that the moon is full in a certain sign, even though it's not. We just keep saying that the, the moon is new in a certain sign when it is not. I can't support it anymore. It's been bothering me for a while. But what I notice is just because a whole bunch of people agree on this doesn't mean it's real. It's like this is part of the illusion that we are supposed to be not aligning with anymore. It feels off to me. So, of course, I mean, there is no, no doubt that the moon is full, about to be full, and that the energies are coming in as a full moon. But when people say that they're in Aries, prove it. Show me. And not just because of where it's supposed to be. Show me right now that it's true. Show me that you are not promoting 
more illusion. And I get that. I understand. I understand that it's agreed upon that between this and this day, this is when we are in <clears throat> Libra, or this is when we are in, you know, um, Aries, or this is when we are, I, I, I get it. But I'll also tell you that this feels an awful lot like a Pisces full moon. But everybody keeps talking about Aries. I'm like, let's feel into what is real. And let's stop supporting illusion, no matter how comfortable it feels or how... Mm, you know, it's like a pattern. Let's, let's, let's be willing to let go of a pattern if it doesn't make sense, if it's not real. I don't understand how all of this has shifted, but we cannot deny that the moon is actually not in Aries on the 29th of September. Unless somebody's going to propose that our actual star charts and where we you know in the constellations what we can actually see where the moon actually is unless that is off as well but it's not because you can see anyway food for thought think about what kind of illusion you are continuing just because it's comfortable and you know it even though you're like wait what that doesn't make any sense. So full moon energy is coming in big time. I have no problem saying that. I'm not going to say they're in Aries. I'm not going to say the moon's in Aries. <clears throat> at, at, at its fullness. <laughs> and honestly, I could give a rat's ass if somebody's going to come on here and say something about Vedic or side rail or tropical or this or that. No, I'm talking about what is real. Because it's like this whole thing that we have built astrology on is illusion. If the sun is not actually in Libra right now, then the people that are being born now are not actually Libra. These are the things I think about. Food for thought, food for thought. Let's try to focus on what is real. Let's try to, you know, if we start noticing something is not right, we start noticing illusion, we question it. We don't just take it and accept it just because it has been collectively accepted. Anyway, I love you guys. <laughs> don't hate me.